Hello friends, this is Nuruddin here from XK Design Studio. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to learn three effects. That is the gradient effect, removing blemishes from the skin and skin softening or skin smoothening. So let's start with the first effect that is the gradient effect. So without any further ado, let's jump directly into Photoshop and get started. I have opened the image of this line on which I need to apply the gradient effect. What you need to do first is that create a new adjustment layer by clicking on this icon and selecting gradient. This dialog box will open up and you can change the gradient color by clicking it over here and you will see some of the presets which are already there. You can either select any color from here or if you want to create a new gradient you can do so by clicking on this changing this color from white to say any other color red then maybe if you want a point over here say ok then click over here select green ok here select blue ok and this is how you can create new gradient colors also and say ok but for this tutorial i'll be using one of these presets i'll select this color click on ok click ok and a gradient fill is covering this layer but we want this gradient color to be applied onto the lion's face so how do we do it it's very simple as you can see this blend mode is normal right now so we just have to click on the blend mode and all these options will pop up we just have to click on overlay and bingo here you see that the gradient color effect has been applied onto the line right now you can see the opacity is 100 which i find it's good enough for this image you can adjust the opacity as per your requirement making it you know less or more it totally depends on you so isn't this a cool way to create wonderful effect now let's get into the other effect that is the blemish removal. So on the screen as you can see the before and after effect and I'll show you how to remove these blemishes from the skin in a while. I have opened the image over here and all you need to do is select the spot healing tool and select a soft brush Make sure that the brush size is a little bigger than the affected area and you just need to click on the affected areas and you see it clears that skin, that part of the skin. There you can see. You can click it as many times as you want or till the time you are not satisfied with the final result, you can keep doing it. You can change the brush sizes by you know pressing the square uh, arrow keys square bracket keys i mean to say there you can see and all the blemishes are removed from the skin Now let's jump into the last and final effect for this tutorial. Now we'll see the last and final uh, effect that is the skin smoothing or skin softening. As you can see on the screen, I have opened the image on which I had removed the blemishes. So before applying the skin softening or smoothing effects and filters, I suggest that you should clear the skin if it is required like removing the blemishes, removing moles etc etc and then only apply these filters otherwise it's not going to give you the proper effect. So here as you can see I have chosen the image on which I had removed the blemishes before and now we will work on this and make the skin smooth. So how are we going to do it? It's very simple. 
first click control or command j to duplicate the layer then click control i to invert it go to the blend modes click on it and select vivid light after that go to filters other high pass here you can see a default value of 24 pixels radius and that is good enough for this image so i'll go with the default values you can set it as per your requirement or the size of the image you're working on i'll click ok again go to filters blur and gaussian blur here the default radius is given as three pixels which i feel is fine you can go between three to five pixels depending on the image again i'll click ok now as you can see that this effect is applied on the entire image the hair and everything which we don't want so what are we going to do we are going to create a mask so press alt and click on this mask icon to create a negative mask and make sure that your foreground color is white and background is black in case it is not then you can just toggle it by pressing the x key and there you can see it's getting toggled so we'll select the white and with the mask selected we'll select a brush by clicking b or just going to the brush icon make sure the brush is soft and you can increase the size if required i'll make it 80 a little bigger hardness you can keep it as low as possible say 12 and we just need to keep painting on this can you see the skin is getting softened or smooth when we are clicking on this while doing this make sure that you do not go on to the highlights and shadows much because it will give a very fake effect if we do so and if by mistake you have you know gone on to delete something like this it's very easy to get it back just toggle the foreground and background color by pressing x on the keyboard make it black and then just get the things back Here you can see that the jawline is got hidden. So I'll press X and then again click over there, and there you can see it's come back. So let's see the before and after effect. This is the before and this is after we applied the skin softening filters and adjustment layers. So that's about it for this tutorial. Practice makes perfect. So I request all of you to practice whatever I have taught you today and it's going to make a lot of difference because if you do not practice, you would not remember how to go about it. And if you have any queries or any inquiries, you can send an email to me and I'll try and revert back to you as soon as possible and as and when the time permits. If you like this tutorial, I would request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please do not forget to click the bell icon so that whenever I'm uploading any videos, you will get a notification for the same. I'll see you in the next video very soon with some new cool effects. Till then, it's bye from my end. Thank you so much.